My name is Franz Cadet, so I'm French, and I study biology before going to fine arts, and I've always been interested in biology. So in my work, I'm speaking about uh, the relationship between humans and animals, and I'm using uh, a robotic dogs to uh, embody those questions. Uh, so I'm really interested in robot and robotics, so that's why today I have some works uh, involving robots and also some uh, drawings about robots. First, I started to use uh, uh, the robot only uh, as a kind of medium to embody my uh, question about uh, animals, about uh, uh, physics or, or, or science in general. But then I began more interested in the fact that they are robots. So what does it mean to uh, have a robot at home, for example? Uh, so, And I'm also interested in the fact that you can really have a kind of anthropomorphic uh, projection with the audience. So even though my uh, artworks look like toys, uh, they rapidly engage a kind of reaction with the audience. So that's why I like to use this robot. And mainly this robot, which is a robotic dog, because because the dog is the most uh, domesticated animals so it, it in a way it represents all the animals that the um, the people have uh, have uh, uh, tamed have domesticated I'm more a cat person, but uh, uh, if you look at my dog called Copycat in Dog Lab One, the robots are hybrid of several species, and these these animals, these pets, uh, gather uh, the pets, the cleanliness of the cat, and uh, the happy uh, face of the of the dog, the playful nature. So in a way, it could be the perfect pet. So maybe one day I will have this kind of Copycat. <laughs> <laughs> I started to get interested in humans, but in animals it's, it's funny because it's really something which is not, uh, uh, not real, but it has been lots of, um, many, many times modified by, by people. For example, there are some species, uh, some animal species that are almost artificial, uh, so they are not really, um, really able to live now in this new biotope. First, I made uh, the first installation I made with uh, the robotic dogs was Dog Lab One. It involved uh, seven robotics dogs, which were kind of hybrid between different spaces. And it, the question was the, the way we treated animals. So either in breeding industry, uh, or animal as a pet, or animal in um, uh, in the artwork, because some refer to some. Uh, uh, animal species like Eduardo cats or, or people who used uh, animals in their artwork. Also uh, the new species that people create. So in a different way we can treat an animal really badly or really well. And then I made this installation called the hunting trophies because the hunting is another uh, aspect of the way we we love in a way, but we also are able to kill animals. So usually they are completely, they are dead, so they are not uh, able to react and be angry at us. Um, 
I also like the fact that uh, the hunting trophy usually is something really old, really traditional, and here it's a mix between something old like this and really new in a way, or with this robot symbolizing in a way kind of cutting edge technology. So it's a mix of really old and traditional uh, uh, representation, the hunting trophy, and something that reacts when you approach. Mm. So it's becoming hungry because he has been hunted and killed. And uh, there are 11 species. Uh, some are lion, uh, tiger, so they are really hungry. And the other ones are uh, deer-like, so like a moose, like a deer. Uh, those ones are often hung a bit higher. They are, they are more proud. And the other ones are more aggressive. So when you approach, they are more, the lion and the tiger and uh, the bobcat are more aggressive. Mm. <laughs> so this, uh, the idea in this uh, serigraph series is the uh, idea of mixing the, the living, the real aspect of an animal, so the dog, with the real organs of the dog, and outside the artificial uh, aspect, which is the shell, the artificial uh, uh, shell of a robot. So here you have the different uh, organs of the robot, and here the shell. And on one serigraph, they are both um, uh, connected, gathered, and the shell has a scratchable ink. So you can scratch the shell, and you will see one of the uh, um, organs inside, one of the anatomies. So here you have at the same time the living anatomies and the artificial outside shell. And uh, there is another one here. Uh, it's a QR code. So you, it's the same thing. You can scratch all the surface to see the robot, but it's an X-ray image of the robot. And you have to use a kind of prosthesis in a way, so your mobile phone or your tablet. And you scan the QR code, and you see the, images, uh, the image which, which is uh, printed behind. It's the idea of that you, uh, your real eyes are not able, is are not able to see behind. But with the use of technology like a smartphone, uh, you are able to see behind. Yeah. And uh, it's the same thing with the other one that you can scratch. Yeah. It's um, for the collector who buys all the series. It's up to him to scratch partially or totally the surface of yeah. the serigraph. And the serigraph is something which is. Uh, edited, it's a copy, yeah. but by this uh, act of scratching the serigraph, it becomes unique. So in a way, I like to, even though it's not interactive, yeah. to in a way that the, the, uh, the collector or the audience has something to do, even if it's scratch, yeah. and it's something special, customized in a way. <laughs>